Welcome to the Edmentum Sensei Overview. My name is Crystal and today I'll be walking you through Edmentum Sensei. Now to access Edmentum Sensei, you're going to go over here to the left hand side under the main menu and choose Sensei. Now when you first enter Sensei, it's going to ask you to choose your program and your class. The program is your standards. The class is whatever class you have set up. You will need a class in order to use Sensei, so I do recommend watching the video on how to create a class. And once you do that, it will bring you to this page. Now at any point, you can come to the current program and class area and change the class or the program that you're monitoring. Once you do that, you'll be brought to this area. And here on the left-hand side, we have menu items such as the quick guide. The quick guide will explain the color coding. It'll also give you details about the student card and the overview. Now, if you needed to navigate quickly to the teacher page, any school reports, the class manager, or the built test library, you could do so from this area. And then we also let the help center live here as well. If you need some resources or a quick start guide um, that you can look through, you can check that out in the help center. Now here we have the program mastery by subject, and you'll see here that the square tiles represent topics. So if you are teaching a grade with multiple subjects, then you can quickly at a high level view hover over any of these tiles to see what topic it is. And the color will indicate something about it. So the blue color here means that your class is working, but we do not currently know um, enough information to accurately give a either green or pink color coding. This gray here means that less than 30% of your class has attempted the topic, so there's not enough, again, to give you an accurate coding. This green color here means that 90% of your class has attempted the topic, and 70% of those students have earned the blue ribbon. So you can tell that this topic, upper and lowercase letters, is doing really well with my students and I may not need to keep teaching and keep instructing and reteaching on that topic. Now if you wanted to drill into the subject, you can either click the subject here or you can go to this drop down and choose the subject. The last color that we do not have, but that definitely exists, is the green with the star. So there will be a star icon here when all your students in your class has mastered that topic. So that'll tell you that that topic your students know really well, they have earned that mastery score, and that you can probably move on to the next topic. A great way for you to formatively assess your students and keep track in real time of how your students are performing. Now this red, red color here means that at least 70% of your class has attempted the topic and less than 50% of those have earned the blue ribbon. So just glancing at the uh, Sensei screen, you might um, be alarmed by this red color. It actually is that color to get your attention. So let's look into it because I can see that only one of my students have earned that blue ribbon. So let's go into that. And I can tell automatically that parts of a sentence associated with this standard is where my students are struggling. Now, if I want to differentiate my students and differentiate the instruction that I'm giving the students, I can use these uh, buttons here to differentiate between people who have passed the topic and people who are still struggling. Okay. Well, what's really nice about this is I can then group those students, and I have them in my group already, and reteach, and then I can assign them a topic for homework or for additional practice, and then tell my students, hey guys, I've given you an additional worksheet. Um, go ahead and log on to Study Island and practice those again. As the students finish their sessions, you'll see that they either, um, their cumulative score either goes up or that they are still in this struggling category. At any point, um, you are able to quickly uh, assess how your students are doing or students that, say this student here who hasn't done anything, students that need to um, be in the group with the student and get that additional assistance. Now, down here we have the student cards. 
And these student cards allow you to see what your students are doing. You are able to filter this area. If you have a wide amount of students and you can't see them all, you can search for the student by just typing out their name. And then also what I would like to show you is that these student cards allow you to dive in a little bit more. So I'm going to look at Josiah's student card because I want to show you that I can see the amount of time he has spent in the program this week. And it's indicated in green here because he has hit that school time goal set by my administrator. So I can say, you know, I know Josiah hit the goal this week. He's doing really well. His um, performance actually shows that. So I can quickly be able to tell that he's one of the students who have met that goal, whereas Isaiah and the rest of my class, just looking across, has not met the goal. They need to spend some more time in Study Island. I can also see their performance last week, as well as the number of blue ribbons they have earned. So. If we are looking at this, say we wanted some more details about Josiah's blue ribbon, what I could quickly see if I drilled down, and I'm going to drill down for you, is the um, subject in which he earned the blue ribbon, the number of sessions, and the time he spent in the program. Now you just saw this icon turn yellow, and Josiah logged in as we were speaking. And so that avatar actually lets you know the, um, the status of your student. And I can see he just turned green because he went into a game session. Now, if I wanted to dive into either of these subjects, I could by clicking on the subject. And again, I can group for Josiah the items that he needs to work on, so upper and lowercase letters, parts of a sentence, parts of a book or things that he is struggling in. And I can see the things that he has passed right now that is print and spoken words. If I wanted to launch a report for Josiah and just see more about his, his assignments, I could do that. And in this report, I can view his number of sessions. I can see both his best session and his cumulative score. And I can see where he's earned that blue ribbon. So in a few clicks, I know exactly what my students are doing. So you use this tool to differentiate between students who are passing and who are failing or have not mastered the topic. You can also differentiate by standards and look um, at how your students are performing by their standards. You can quickly see that this standard here will need some additional uh, teaching to. It's one where students have not passed. We only have three blue ribbons. And then I can also see just trends across time. So I can see that my students were really working in the program and all subjects here on the 19th through the 25th, but that kind of tapered off. Maybe um, there's some reasons there that um, maybe we just didn't get on it a few weeks, but that it picked up this past week. I'm also able to drill down into subject here and see on which date, how many questions were answered, what the average score was. I can click on any parts of this chart and see the time of day and the session time, as well as the average time per session, the number of questions answered, and the average time per question. So that is Edmentum Sensei. You use this to monitor and track your students. You can also use it to, as a differentiation tool to be able to group students between students who have mastered a topic or standard or have not mastered the topic or standard, and then assign them work based on their mastery or lack thereof. All right. Thank you so much for joining. Bye-bye.